chart. But within it, we have several sub-states. So there's a, a hunt state in the middle. Um, there's an outermost state that captures the time since, since one was born. Um, and, and we keep track of that for natural deaths. Um, there's a middle state that captures the time since one last ate. And, and if, when you eat, you kind of re-enter that state, so it reinitializes it. And then there's an inner state that, that, capitalize, uh, that captures the hunting frequency and, and success. And you note this transition here. What do you think this transition corresponds to? So what, what do you think this, this corresponds to here? Yeah, exactly. So you, you start to hunt, and the question is, do you succeed or not? If you, if you have no luck, you go back to this state here, out of which you'll, you'll start to hunt. So maybe you, you know, recuperate a bit, and then you'll come down here. You'll trigger, again, a hunting event. Um, otherwise, if you are successful, you go back and you, you eat. And so you re-enter this state, and it will sort of keep track, once again, of, of, of how long you've you've uh, been since since you've eaten. Um, the the lighter this this one out here. So, sorry, this one here. Oh, this guy here. Okay, so that that can that's a state which allows you to capture how long it's been since you last ate. So you can think of it as being a state that's. Um, it, it's kind of, it's a little bit of a of a difficult thing to map it to a a well defined sort of physiological state, but it's sort of uh, being in a state um, that you uh, you're waiting to eat or something like that. Sorry, states within states, and so while you're waiting to eat, you may go hunting, and when you do eat, you re-enter this waiting to eat state. Okay, um, and then you have a, a transition to natural death based on Link's life expectancy, exactly a timeout, and then another one. If you if you um, you have a timeout, so this is important. You have a timeout out of that state that you were just asking about. Uh, after a certain amount of time, the Link's hunger death threshold. If you don't leave this state, this this sort of intermediate state through having eaten within a certain amount of time, you will then die through, through having run out of, of, of food. So how do you enter the hunt state, the, the dark yellow one? So, okay. So, so the dark hunt, uh, the, the dark state, um, or the sort of this, this innermost state, right. that innermost state represents a state of sort of you're waiting to hunt. And um, that actually is going to be the very first state that you enter. Um, there's this kind of state transition. This is sort of, s you start here. So within this outer state, you start in this one. Within that one, you start in here. And then periodically, you're going to wake up and hunt. And in fact, we could go look at the logic of that on the screen. So um, you can go click on this transition. And, um, and you'll note, oops, sorry, this transition. Um, so uh, after a timeout of the lynx hunting period, the time between hunting, you're going to go hunt. And at that time then, with a certain probability, this is the default actually, certain uh, probability you're going you're gonna to eat. And you'll notice that this is based on a complex formula, um, which is based on how many hairs are around you. This is a spatial model. And if we, maybe I should have started this by running it. Um, but if, if you were to run it, is that there's lengths in your space. And um, how many, how many, uh, so we're going to slow this down a little bit. Um, so let me go. We're not going to do this as fast as we can. We're going to do it at a more modest. These lengths are the red here. The hairs are the green. And your chance of succeeding in a hunt is going to, as a length, as one of the red, it's going to depend on how many hairs are around you, nearby you. And um, if, if there's a lot of hairs, you're more likely to succeed in your hunt. If there are fewer hairs, you're more likely to hunt. And, and so this eat transition, which sort of sates you 
and resets your time sense eating is has a chance of transitioning that's based on um, based on the number of, of, of hairs that are located around you. So the condition here, the chance that you go that way is based on how many uh, hairs are in the cell. And we're not going to go into all the logic of this. We'll take a look at this model more when we talk about spatial movement. But um, suffice it to say that this takes into account in terms of the likelihood of succeeding in your hunt on your local environment and how many hairs are there. So, so it's a good question. So what you'll notice is that these little stubs that you'll see, these are what are called initial state pointers. And you'll notice that there's the two of them that are notable. One is here and one is here. And what this is saying is if you get into this, this outermost state, you will then go, go in fact, into, into this state, okay? And so if you get in this state, this is the state you start in, this one here. Oh, so you're you're simultaneously in those nested states. That's why I was saying with a state chart, if you have uh, the most specific level of states, like these states here, you're only in one at a time. Here you're only in one at a time. However, you can be in sort of nested states simultaneously. Okay. So when you return to that intermediate state, it yep. resets that inner yes. hunt state? Sort of that's, that's correct. You start over in that you, state? You start over in that state, but more than that, it resets... Um, uh, the the uh, amount of time it's been since you last ate. So this transition out here, this transition to death, that's going to occur after a certain time, a lynx hunger death threshold. This is going to occur out. But if you re-enter that state, you're now going to be starting afresh, and death is not going to be at your door. S say that again? So that curve, uh, on the right -hand side. This one? No, no, the, the oh, this guy here. Conceptually, when you come out and re enter this state, you're going to end up going right in here. Sorry? This one? No, no. So when this comes out, mm -hmm. you're going to go back into this green, it's sort of greenish tinged state. Is that mauve? <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that's mauve, but in any case, uh, so you're not going but to you're going to be going to this state dot. here, yeah. Because this dot is going to say, "Hey, if you're in here, what's the state you start in?" There might be several states in here. It's this one here. This one says, "If you're in in this broad state, which is the state you're going to start in?" It's this one. So there's no timeout in terms of after you eat, you don't have to hunt for a little while. Mm -hmm. You go straight into. Correct. Well, you, you go into this, this mode here, I mean, this state here is kind of like you're waiting to hunt. Right. And every lynx hunting period, you're going to go. But there's no kind of, oh, I'm sated, I'm right. full, I'm going to sleep. Right. We can never have too many hairs or whatever. That, that's right. They, they just go back you're to the state where they're kind of, yeah, you're always hungry and, and exactly. And there's going to be some time between your hunts, but it's not going to change it whether or not you just ate. Right. It's, it's sort of memoryless as far as what you're eating was with respect to that period. Okay, so so we see some more complex types of state charts, and um, I, I provide some comments on them. Okay, here are some comments. Oh, there's this is the thing I couldn't remember. Um, to determine length of time spent in a state, you can use state name uh, dot get local time, and uh, so actually this is the state chart. Get local time, and then you specify the name of the state you're in. So you could say, "How long have I been in the X state?" And that state name is is just the name you see uh, in the in the state chart. So um, within our model, it would have been, for example, um, uh, susceptible or infectious or what have you. Um, um, so we could have asked infection state chart um, and on. Okay. Um, to determine the current state, you can ask the state chart, tell me what state I'm in. And it will tell you, it will return the name of the state or the number of the state that you're in. Um, to find out if a state is currently active, am I in this state? I can ask state chart, 
is this state active and give it the name of the state term, of the state. Infective, for example. And then um, the thing to bear in mind here is every state and every transition, in fact, has an integer so-called index. And this is what's called a static variable. It's, it's static not in the sense it doesn't change over time. It's static in the sense there's only one value for no matter how many agents there's all, are, there are, there's only one, one value of it. And so infective, like in our model, infective has one constant associated with it that denotes that state. Okay, so if I want to ask the state chart, am I in the infective state, I just give it this number. So, um, so uh, you know, we can, we can use that number in various ways to ask, for example, how long have I been, have I been in there? So, for example, maybe in this um, our, our chance of going out via this transition, this recovering from infection, maybe that goes up. Maybe it's not memoryless. Maybe we don't have the same chance per unit time of, of recovery over time. Maybe it defend, depends on um, on how long we've we've been in there. So we can ask infection state chart dot get local local time. Oh, okay. So um, why am I not seeing this here? So this this says uh, get local time. Um, I wonder if this is is a different version of any logic issue. Um, uh, okay, yes, no. So that's, uh, I'm going to have to get back to you on that. I, it goes with this get local time. No, it's not. I know it says that, but uh, I don't believe it is. Um, let's let's go check check this out. Infection dot get. Let's let's try it. I'd be surprised. Um, well, that but would be the, 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 the oh, infective.